on Drury Lane. Why, hello, boys and girls. Good morning, and welcome to the show. Today, why today, today, we're going to meet J.P. Hassinger. Now, J.P. has always been a happy kid, easygoing and full of life. He loves sports that involves anything with a ball. He plays baseball, basketball, and lacrosse. He's also facing a challenge. The challenge of Neiman Pick Type C disease. It's a genetic disorder that causes progressive deterioration of the nervous system. And it usually affects children by interfering with their ability to metabolize cholesterol. Well, today we're gonna meet JP and we're gonna meet Team JP as well. Comprised of family and friends who also want to find a cure for Neiman Pick and help JP. And without further ado, let's meet JP. From a young age, JP had developmental delay. And when he was maybe three or four, he started to have balance problems. As time went on, he started to have problems with speech, articulation. He had some coughing, some swallowing difficulties, and he had had a seizure by the time he came to us. Five. Yeah. Oh, now you're bingo. One more, one more. Uh, water. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Jay Hansinger, and I'm here with my son J.P. Hansinger. Uh, J.P. has Neiman Pick Type C uh, disease, which is a rare genetic uh, disease, and there's about 10,000 rare diseases in the, in the world, and uh, unfortunately J.P. has one. Uh, we, we do experimental treatments here at Albany Med. Uh, with a drug called cyclodextrin. Um, he gets a spinal tap every other week, and today's one of the days that we're doing a spinal tap. Uh, the whole, whole procedure takes about six hours. The actual injection takes a few minutes. Uh, they inject, they take out spinal fluid, they inject uh, cyclodextrin into his spine. Um, it's also in a um, phase two, three trial tied in with the NIH and the drug company that uh, now owns the drug. Uh, and um, we're doing compassionate use because we didn't get into the trial. Uh, but um, it's, um, it seems to be helping. We've, we've done about 100 spinal taps over three years. This is uh, probably number 95, 96. Uh, and uh, we think it's helping to slow the disease. It's not a cure. Uh, but we'll do anything we can to try to uh, prevent the disease from progressing. I met JP over a year ago, shortly after he was formally diagnosed with NPC. His parents came to me with a lot of questions. I, at that point, referred him to an NIH study of cyclodextrin. The family came back and let me know that JP did not qualify for the NIH study. At that point, I started to read everything about cyclodextrin and contacted people across the country who were treating patients outside of the NIH trial, including Dr. Caroline Hastings, Dr. Kravis, and I talked to other people at Albany Medical Center, including Dr. Pugh and Dr. Nepo, and we became convinced that cyclodextrin could possibly help JP in slowing progression of NPC disease and that this was something we could get done at Albany Medical Center. There's a company that, local company that donates all different pillowcases uh, for all the children in the Melody Center so they uh, don't have to sleep on a plain white one. 
And we get to take it home too, so then he figures out who he's going to give it to. Uh, JP mm -hmm. likes to give it to somebody. So this one's, a lot of times they're sports related, but this is uh, looks like instruction. So you know who would like this is John Connor or Pa, his grandpa. Okay, so. Uh, It was about, well, it was September 18th, 2013, we found out JP had Neiman Peck. It took about two years of, of going to hospitals and doctors. We went to Boston Children's, we went to the Mayo Clinic, we went to the NIH in Washington, D.C., the National Institute of Health. Um, it took Boston Children's about nine months, uh, and it took a skin and muscle biopsy because everything was coming back normal. and. <coughs> After nine months of testing, uh, it came back that JP had Neiman Pick type C disease. Um, what really confirmed it with the doctor was my daughter Molly mentioned um, back in 2012 that JP would kind of collapse or almost faint when he was laughing, and that's called cataplexy. And that made the doctor at Boston Children's say we should probably do a muscle and skin biopsy, which was sent to the Mayo Clinic to study and watch the cells grow. That took about two months uh, of growing that we're, before we got the diagnosis back and we found out, like I said, on September 18th, 2013. Uh, we then um, double checked with doctors at the Mayo Clinic um, who have been studying this for 20 years. and. Um, we then went to the NIH in Washington. They did a study on JP because they were in a phase one trial down there with this drug. We didn't get in, um, as I've said there, so we were pursuing going to Boston to get it done. And Albany Med stepped up and we do the treatments here, which is a lot easier on JP and us, the family. And there's a saying with MPC that children only have their childhood to experience a lifetime and that's what we're trying to do with JP through a lot of the different programs and support groups that we have in the area, in the Capital District, which has been very good. Um, we also have a 17-year-old daughter who's, you know, a senior going to college eventually uh, next, this year, and she has to deal with uh, her brother and this with this disease, and it's, it's very hard on her. Even though she's a good student, she still struggles. Um, and we, ha we have to try to make a uh, normal life for her also. Normal life for us is, uh, used to be going to sporting events with the kids and you know every other day and JP loves sports making a baseball team or lacrosse team um, and now normal for us is coming to Albany Med. Uh, this is like a second home for me here. Um, the nurses, doctors, medical professionals uh, treat us so well um, so many doctors, they make house calls for us. They come to the house to, to see JP. Dr. Pugh, in particular, uh, has come to the house numerous times and evaluated Jay just so he doesn't have to come to the hospital as much because we're here every week, sometimes a few times a week. And our norm now is not a sports team, but um, coming in for treatments and checking his vital organs, whether it's his hearing, his liver, his spleen. Uh, his swallowing, which is becoming an issue. He has silent aspiration, uh, which means food's going down into his lungs instead of into his stomach. And we're, we're doing some things to try to prevent that from happening. Uh, what we do um, day to day is um, get through the day and make it special for our children, like a lot of families do. Um, we try to raise awareness for rare disease, and in particular, Neiman Pick Type C. We, we're lucky that we have uh, a good support group in the area with family and friends. And Shen School has been great for JP. Um, the mission for rare disease is to raise awareness. Uh, so I'm glad for the opportunity of the Muffin Man to come here and film our story. Um, raising awareness is huge uh, for the disease. And then obviously raising money for research. Um, we have a you know, a 501c3 nonprofit called Chase the Cure, where everything we raise, uh, you know, is tax deductible and, and goes to research and to help the children that have this disease. Uh, this research is also helping other diseases. Um, 
that are similar, like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, Ebola. It's uh, this is the uh, been studied hard with Ebola uh, because the children with this disease can't get Ebola, so they're they're figuring out how they can treat um, that disease that kills a lot of people with the Neiman Pick uh, drugs and issues. Uh, so we uh, we do appreciate uh, the support we get from our family and friends that, that keeps us going and um, also the families that I've seen that have passed with their children in the last year to 20 years uh, like the Parsegians that are tied into Notre Dame uh, and there's a lot of families in this area there's a family in Charlton and a family in Boston that we became close friends with and a family in New Jersey and some of their children, you know, have passed between five and ten years old, and, and they still go on. Um, and because they go on, I have to go on. Um, where's? Um, members and we go to Double H Camp, JP does I should say, he goes a week in the summer as a camper and he does the adaptive uh, skiing in the winter and the uh, place is amazing. They take children that are in wheelchairs and blind or deaf and seriously ill like JP and um, they haven't experienced everything that they do um, when um, in a regular camp they would never be able to do like uh, there's a ropes course where they're up in the trees and they're all t tethered in and helmets but very safe and all volunteers and um, all the Albany Med doctors and nurses volunteer their time up there so they always have a tremendous amount of medical staff there because it's needed because most all the children get a lot of medicines and have very critical conditions uh, but they experience uh, a lot of good things at Double H and we're, we're glad that we're part of it. JP uh, loves sports. He used to play sports. He can't play anymore, uh, but he loves going to games. Uh, JP is part of UAlbany lacrosse, basketball, and he has a lot of friends on the football team at UAlbany. Uh, we're down there in the locker rooms. Uh, he sits on the bench with the players. Uh, they've come to the house. They come to the hospital to visit him, and he loves it. Um, great group of young adults, um, our future generation. And, they're great. They're great kids. Um, having this happen to our son uh, has changed our lives dramatically. Uh, I used to always worry about the future and and not live in the present, and we now live in the present um, a lot more. You know, you have to prepare for the future, but it's it's important just to enjoy every day because you never know about tonight or tomorrow if you'll even be here. So uh, life is precious. Uh, we. JP has taught a lot of people, a lot of student athletes, and us, our family, and our friends, uh, just to enjoy every day and live in the moment. And um, JP seems to be on TV a lot, himself on TV, in the public eye. Um, he, we have friends, the Joneses, who uh, work for the Troy Police Department and uh, helped get JP on the force and made, it made a big splash with the the chief and the mayor and he got to ride around in a police car and he had, they made him a uniform and a badge and he's he's on the TV all the time. I mean there was 15, 20 stations there. It was crazy. Um, and he recited the oath to be an officer and he's he's on TV all the time whether it's with Roger Weiland on sports because Roger's at all the uh, basketball games or it just seems like he's on TV and takes it well and doesn't make a big deal of it. I mean, um, it would bother a lot of people. It would bother me, but luckily I take an antidepressant to get through the day, so I don't really mind. I just kind of do what I have to do, but he uh, he just does it. I mean, he's, he's around the filming, and it's just another day for JP. Sure. I don't know, we probably have 30, 30 fundraisers, and I'm sure we've raised over a quarter million dollars for research. Um, and it all started with Jamming for JP, uh, which is our website, jammingforjp.com. 
a lot of the information and links are out there about upcoming events that we have, about Neiman Pick, uh, what goes on with JP and his life, sports teams, the police. He loves his boat and jet ski in the, in the summer um, for what we can do and just hanging out with friends. Um, and, uh, you know, we, um, another big one is uh, the ESPN Coaches uh, Charity Challenge. Uh, we ask you to go on ESPN, it doesn't cost anything, and you vote for Matt Painter, who's uh, about his fifth year. And he's, he's taken on NPC for us, and uh, one year we did win the $100,000 grand prize. Uh, other years, we've, we've always come in the top four, uh, and whatever we win, uh, that money goes uh, to research by the Smith family out in the Midwest. Uh, they lost three children, I believe, to uh, NPC. Um, so um, our big one, of course, is the Century House, and, and they donate their facility, and. The, they're, they're tremendous there and what they've done for us. Um, so we're able to um, donate 100% of the money raised at the Century House, for example, to, uh, to research. Um, and I don't really pay attention to where the RFPs go. Uh, I, I let the medical scientists and researchers determine that. Um, but genetics is becoming huge and curing a lot of diseases, a lot of hope. So we're hoping that will, they're studying um, NPC right now, four or five companies, and um, we'll find out more about that in June when we go out to a conference by the Air Precision Foundation. JP receives cyclodextrin every two weeks now, and he gets it intrathecally through a lumbar injection in the spine where a little fluid is taken out, about six cc's, and um, then six cc's, that's six milliliters of cyclodextrin is injected into his spine every week. He receives a little bit of PO Versed, Versed by mouth. Um, it's not a high dose. He handles the procedure very well. And afterwards, he takes it easy for a little bit, eats something, goes home, and we try to get him to take it easy for the rest of the day, but he's usually up and playing lacrosse despite everything you say by the end of the day. I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> I can put better differences. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna lock this. Take these on a roll towards me. I like these new crates. Yeah. Oh, nice. Perfect angle. Not yet. It's in. It's, it's in. Driven. Now you can count backwards from 100. Yeah. Good flowing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good one today. So now they're taking out six cc's of spinal fluid. And then we'll put the, the drug in. Okay. Psychodextrin. A miracle drug, hopefully. It's going to be a quick one. Is it? It'll be a quick one, JP. What do you mean? You're flowing good. Yeah. I think the eight hour one on Saturday, so he doesn't mind this as much. Mm. This is quick. Yeah, this <laughs> better. He already had one egg sandwich. He wants another one after. No donuts today? No, he hasn't been into the Dunkin' Donuts mm. for months. Switching it up. Yep, it was Panera there. Periwinkle is the color for an NPC, so that's why gotcha. I got Periwinkle. How's Mom doing? I haven't seen her for a while. Yeah, she's working. Somebody's got to work. She's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to one more do a college thing for yeah. Molly Saturday. Oh. She's a senior. Wow. Almost done. Almost done. I used to worry about paying for college. Now I don't worry about it. Because 
more important things. What is she doing now? Uh, she's still collecting. I would say three more drops, then I'm going to get the medicine, then we're going to be done. Two. He's been skiing up a storm at Double H. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. Nice. And then, uh, don't forget, we do something different with the needle, too, right? Yes, we're going to put the stylet back in. Okay. Stylet back. You're done? Almost. Yeah, I'm going in. About 20 seconds. Don't move. Almost. Going in. Dr. Weintraub's probably done about. 65 of these. You, you, you can figure so. out how many you've done, right? I or, could very yeah, easily. Look it up. Yeah. Okay. I could, yeah. And you don't do a lot of these on this floor, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. we do a ton. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, thought, I thought there was a lot of IV. Well, it's more, much more IV. Much more but I would say we have how many of these a week? We just have two, at least two to three. Yeah. Um, you never see the other ones because those kids come on different days because they need the sedation team because he does it with just the by mouth stuff. So right. when we when we do it fully putting kids to sleep, then we need the sedation people. Mm -hmm. what, is it a nurse anesthesiologist that would come up? It's a um, ICU doctor oh. that comes down to do it. They're certified to do it. All right, but all set. Lauren Weintraub, I'm one of the pediatric hematologists here at Albany Medical Center, and I just did a lumbar puncture for JP um, and gave him his intrathecal medicine for his Neiman pick. I've known JP for almost two years now. He comes in every other week for his procedures in our clinic, um, and he and his family are fantastic, and we always talk and joke around. Uh, so today's procedure went very well, as they always do. Um, he's a champ. Yeah, he's um, he always does very well with these procedures, and he's always got a positive outlook, as does his family. Um, never complains. Always just ask me when we're done. <laughs> uh, JP just finished his uh, IT uh, treatment um, at Old Med, and uh, we're so grateful for the care and kindness they give him here. Um, we're up to about 100 treatments. And one of the things that we created here for genetics is the Albany Medical Center Gen uh, Genetics Fund. And um, the fund is set up to help children that are less fortunate than even us in that they can't sometimes afford a taxi ride here or formula for their baby. Uh, so, or they have trouble uh, getting medicine, so it helps pay for the medicine until they get the insurance to pick up the tab. Um, so it's helping less fortunate children uh, than us, um, and uh, we're glad to be a part of it. And we raise money for it. It's a, it, if you wanted to contact Albany Med, you could send money into the fund, and uh, it's used strictly for children um, that don't have anything. So, like I said, they don't even have a ride here sometimes, and struggle to pay a taxi ride. Uh, Dr. Weintraub has been um, handling JP's case for over two years now. And she she treats us like family, and we joke and kid. And she makes uh, this medical procedure, this experiment, um, a little more fun for JP. So he doesn't mind coming every week to the hospital, um, and just great people. And he takes it all in stride. He doesn't give me a hard time and about coming. And he'd rather be in school with his friends, but we have to be here. I would appreciate uh, everybody that's watching the show to go to our website, jamforjp.com. We have a lot of links to um, our benefits and also what we try to do tied into the community, um, whether it's the Equality Med Genetics Fund um, or Encourage Kids, um, the Double H Camp. Um, we just appreciate uh, the monies that people generously give um, the awareness to help raise money for research and to try to save uh, the future generation of children uh, that are fighting this terrible disease. Uh, and like I said, it's all on the website, jdamonforjp.com. Uh, we just need awareness, and then hopefully if somebody's looking for a place to give, um, they would donate monies uh, for research. Um, and like I said, cure a lot of rare diseases.
Thank you very much. I just wanted to thank all our family and friends um, and a lot of people we've never met or known for their generosity and notes, texts, emails, letters, and uh, monies donated to our cause. Um, it's amazing that the generosity of the people like I said, a lot we know, a lot is family, but a lot, a lot of people we've never met and have come into our lives uh, since we found out about this uh, disease that JP has, the nematic, nematic type C, um, almost four and a half years ago now. And uh, he was born with it, but the, the uh, progression got worse when he was about 10. And uh, we're hoping on these experimental treatments to slow it down. And, the strength we get from people and just their comments to us help us go on. Um, it's not the money, it's more the support and the caring of people help us go on. But uh, a lot of good scientists and researchers do appreciate and are dedicated to finding a cure for this disease, smarter people than I am. So I just wanted to thank everybody for everything they've done in the past and the present and the future. Well, welcome back. I'm still trying to bake the muffins. But finally, finally, I think we're finished. I hope you enjoyed our show today. If you would like to make an order or donate muffins to charity, then please go to the website listed below. With every muffin order, we donate muffins to the charity of your choice. <laughs> I call it giving your dough to charity. <laughs> I also encourage you to donate directly to the featured charity today by going directly to our website and getting their information. Thank you very much for watching and keep on dancing through life by giving to others through love. Let me finish baking these muffins. And see you next time.